dollars. So why did they say they sold it for 1.2 million dollars? Because that is what it was auctioned for. Uh-huh. 1.2 million dollars. So payments at prevailing exchange rate. How can you be this wicked? How? How can the government, I mean, people working in some offices can be this wicked? Just watch this video. That went to Zaria and there is even a letter to that effect informing them that we are coming and we are coming this time around specifically on the issue of the helicopters. Therein, we are provided with all the technical details of these helicopters. Technical details. As of then, one of the helicopters just clocked 42 hours, another one 46 hours thereabout. And this helicopter, for it to have a turnaround maintenance, must clock about 10,000 hours. So we know what we are talking about. I'm pained because as a result of this, a lot of people have died, Nigerians have died, soldiers have died, who are desirous of having these helicopters. And we even told them, they even provided to us the maintenance they've done thus far. One was about 500 and thousand, uh, something thousand, another one was about 500 and something thousand. And we told them, okay, since this is a government property, and it's another government establishment that is interested, because the argument they were giving for auctioning it was because it was not uh, being put into use. Now a government uh, institution have come over to say, okay, we want it. Something as very important as that. No proof. Not documented. They are just telling us that an auction took place, this, this, this. You can't even remember who the people, you can't even remember your own constituents. The auction of the two helicopters was conducted successfully on the 24th of May for a sum of $1.2 million only. See attached evidence. Even though you did not put that here, but in your internal memo, you admitted that you collected $1.2 million for the helicopters. Now, how can you sell an helicopter worth $4 billion US dollar each for $1.2 million US dollar? You know, this case, eh, they will sweep our mental on that carpet, and that is the end of it. Nobody will hear about it again. It will just vanish. Uh, uh, the, the chairman of the committee claimed to have arrested a young man, but that, that is it. It's end under that camera. You won't hear anything about this case again. And today, the news broke, early hours of today, of how the fighter jets of the Air Force who was combating terrorism, you know, crashed in Kaduna State. Everything is falling. The president fell. The country is falling. The aircraft of uh, the, you know, the, the Air Force is falling. Everything is falling apart. What a nation. What a nation. From great to grass. The giant of Africa is now beginning to beg many nations of Africa, many nations in Africa no longer regard Nigeria as the big brother they claim to be in Africa. Why? Because of the heavy corruption that has bedeviled the nation. Why will you do that? And this transaction was done before the swearing in of Bola Metsinibu as the president of Nigeria. There were a lot of cash out for some of those ministry. They did a lot of shady business because Buhari was going. Within that last one month of Buhari, a lot of things happened. But, you know, like we always say, you cannot, I mean, government is a thing of continuity. And if this government is serious, they can actually investigate some of those things, just like this one, and make an arrest and probably bring forth all of this looted fund. And this will take me to our next video where I'll be sharing with you how over 60 billion, that is 60 billion, 38 trillion naira of stamp duty was not remitted to the government. I'll be unveiling that in our next video. So stay with me as I'll be talking about that in our next video. Thank you for watching.